is a tentative agreement on what to do with a controversial downtown nightclub, but the specifics will not be disclosed for at least another 48 hours. Nine on your side, reporter Tom McKee is live. He has the new information from a court hearing that has just concluded. Tom. Well, that's right, and we're talking about the Diamond Palace nightclub at the corner of Fifth and Elm Streets downtown. The city wants it shut down permanently, claiming that the club allows nude and semi nude dancing. The owners don't want it closed, and They'd like to open it maybe somewhere else in the city. Now, Cincinnati police tell me that they've made numerous runs to the club over the time over time for a wide range of problems and call it a nuisance. And the city says the club doesn't have a license to run a sexually oriented business at the site. Attorneys for both sides played a bit of shuttle diplomacy in the courtroom and chambers of Judge Melba Marsh. They talked separately, then together, then with the judge for nearly two hours on Tuesday. Finally, the judge was able to broker some sort of deal that could allow uh, the city termed an agreement, and the club attorney, Lou Serkin, called just an understanding. Now, neither side would comment on what had taken place after this court hearing ended just a few minutes ago. Judge Marsh told me the next 48 hours are critical for both sides if all the pieces of this deal are to fall into place. If the club would close downtown and want to move elsewhere, the only place in the city where they could apply for a license to do so might be the Camp Washington area. Tom McKean, not on your side, live downtown.